Hello everyone, I am Miss Throp and welcome to my YouTube channel, Miss Throp and Her Antiques. <laughs> I'm very excited to start this project because my husband and I actually have a really big collection of assorted antiques from the 1700s all the way up to 1900. And antiques are a huge passion of ours, same with artifact hunting and just assorted stuff in general. I love history, it's a big passion of mine. So to kick this off, I have a small little selection I thought I'd show off of some fun little things. First thing I want to start off with is a few assorted arrowheads. Now granted, kind of random, but a good little start in the collection. So, you're talking all about the 1750s. Now, if we're talking the same time period, let's see what other trade goods, besides the stone artifacts, are also right around 1750. This is a trade tomahawk, same time period, about 1750, and that would have been used, what? For trade, that's why you call it a trade tomahawk. Very nice, right? <laughs> Very fun. I like to hold a lot of these objects and picture the history and you know all that fun stuff. And this um, particular tomahawk actually came out of Fort Recovery, Ohio, and we do have paperwork on it. But I'll save all that boring stuff. Same time period. You also had trade knives now the leather would have been long gone the leather's redone obviously but the frog because that's what you call this part right here to hold in your boot is still the original when they redid the sheet they put a little strap on it for your belt and to show off the knife this would have been an english trade knife that they would have traded with the indians which is why I showed up the arrowheads to begin with. You have a horn handle and overall length. Not bad. So, two different trade goods that would have been right around the same time. And the final piece I want to show off because I plan on actually showing off a lot of our Bowie knife collection. Here we have your pretty basic Sheffield Bowie knife. And this one is a Joseph Allen. It would have been actually right around 1900. So you're talking 150 years difference in the time, but another very nice piece of American history. So yeah, very excited to start this. So be sure to subscribe, leave comments, and let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks, everyone.